This is Cartoon Academy, and we are about to blast off into outer space. Three, two, one, launch. Welcome to Cartoon Academy. We are rocketing into space for an alien encounter. Let's draw. We're going to draw some spaceships and even an alien as well. But we're going to start off with a little rocket in the corner. It's just a triangular shape for the top of the rocket. Line down, and another line down. Slight curve to the line at the base, and then out, over, and up, a line across. We're going to get some flame shooting out of that base. And then the interior or inside of the flames look like that. Out, down, and in. Out, down, and in. And then some portholes. Circle. Circle inside. Circle. Circle inside. Now for our alien in his ship. We're going to start with the alien itself. Starting right about here, we come up, around, follow it all the way through, and back down. Next we have the eyes. A slanted oval, and another slanted oval. Inside of that, Two more ovals. One and two. Now we're going to fill in all around that. Just color it in all the way. Same thing on the other side. Now the mouth. There's a small mouth, little line for the tongue, and then fill that in. Now our alien shoulders. One, two. For the ship, we're going to draw a line coming across, and then we're going to bring that line into the shoulders into the shoulders. We're going to follow that line. Around and connect. We have a line that slants outward on each side. One and two. Curved line connecting those two. Line down and follow with another curved line. And up. Now for the base of the ship. Curved line over and connect. We're going to add some lights going across this band in the center. It's just letter O turned on its side over and over. Good. Now we're going to add a dome. Starting right here, we come up, around, and down. There's a little bit of reflection in the glass. We just have a small triangle that we bend just a little bit to show that reflection. Let's add an exhaust pipe right here. So letter W, circle, letter W. Then two lines, a little puff here. It's one of the ways we're able to show motion or movement in static or still cartoon drawings. The drawings themselves aren't moving, but the way we can show the illusion of movement is by adding little lines. We'll do it with a couple different ones. Let's add a ship up here. We have the dome. Over. 
around. We'll add a little spoiler on the back. Two circles for headlights. And for the motion, we we'll had two horizontal lines. Let's add a ship here that's going up. The dome again. Over. Down and out. Down and out. Over. Some lights. And some vertical lines. See the different ways we can show motion? Let's add one more spacecraft. We have a dome, line across. That one sort of looks like an egg. I would call that a UFO, an unidentified frying object. Now we're going to add a very tiny planet here. around like that, and then some dirt hanging down, and a little bit of texture. We're going to put a sign on that little tiny planet, so we draw one line up, one line down, and then we just want to connect to that sign post. A little bit of ground surface there. Now for our sign. Over up, over, down, and in to make a rectangle. And we're going to write the speed limit. S-P-E-E-D L-I-M-I-T And the speed limit is warp W-A-R-P 5. Warp 5. We have a couple little spots just going down the signpost. And maybe one or two stars in the background. Stars are just letter V, letter V, and a W at the base. And you can scatter those throughout. That's it. Be sure to sign your name. Take pride in your work. Thanks for joining us on our outer space adventure. Stay tuned.